Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on Elasticsearch. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to install Kabana. As we know, Kabana is used for visualization purpose. We can show the charts or we can create a dashboard for various users. So how to install Kabana? In order to install Kabana, first we need to download its a installer. That you can download from the website elastic.co and go to this install location on this page we can see there are several kinds of installers available on the right hand side of the screen we'll see what kind of operating system on which you are going to install i'm going to install on windows system so just go ahead and click on install on windows so it will take us to the page where we'll see the installer there are two types of zip packages available for a windows system one which is comes with a, on 64 bit and other with some additional features i will install this basic version you have to just click it and it will download the zip file i have already downloaded it let's go ahead and unzip it The installation will take a few minutes. Once the installation is done, we can open the folder structure. So here is the folder structure, Kabana 7.8, expanded, and we will see several folders under it. Bin folder, build, config, a data folder, then we have node, node modules, optimize, plugins, source, webpack sims, and expects the installer once we extract it it will hold the several configuration under the config folder as like elasticsearch we have elasticsearch yml file for kabana also we have kabana yml file let's open it and see what configuration it contains So by default, it has some server and node configuration. Here you can provide the maximum payload size. You can increase if you want. You can give your server name. By default, it's a local host. The Elasticsearch configuration also you can mention. Suppose if I enable it and if I run my Elasticsearch, then you can connect the Elasticsearch through your Kabana interface. In case you want to uncheck or uncomment the server host for this Kabana, you can uncomment and provide any custom also. The default port is 5601. In case you are running on any other port, you can change that port here as well. So let me keep this configuration and save it. Similarly, you can modify the server key or client key etc there are some ssl related configuration also need to make which are present underneath but i will keep other configuration as is let's see what other details available under this directory structure the executables present under the bin directory which is kabana.bat if you are running this kabana on windows system for other operating system, we'll have the different kind of files. Uh, we'll run this shortly. Let's have a look on other folders. Under the build assets, we have CSS and DLL files. Under the config, we already saw. Under the data, we do not have anything. We'll see when this data folder get populated. Under the node, we have the node.exe. And under the node modules we have several options or the several things such as slack scan elastic all these things will be used internally for the kabana interface in order to optimize we have the optimize uh, section in case you want to add additional plugins to kabana you can use this folder then the source it is as we know the kabana and elastic search is based on java so hence we have the source structure also we have the javascript here at the top and there are several components 
web backsets to add the additional uh, JavaScripts uh, which are required for rendering the application on Kibana, and then expect for additional features like security, monitoring, etc. Uh, let's set the Kibana home. In order to set the Kibana home, we have to copy this directory structure. Go to the environment variables. I will add in the system variable so that anyone can access. And here we have to mention Kibana underscore home and provide the location. Click OK. Click OK. Now we will go to the bin directory and we will start the Kibana. For that we have to go to the command prompt and start Kibana, kibana.bat and this will start the Kibana server and which will ultimately deploy our Kibana application on that. While starting the Kibana server we can see there are some several warnings are there and some additional information such as it's creating the index uh, Kibana underscore task underscore manager. Uh, we can keep monitoring uh, these things. Now we can see the server is running at localhost 5601 and it is in green condition and ready to use. So how can we check whether the, the Kibana application is running or not? So that is, this is the one of the way where you can go to the, the Kibana server. The other option is go to the browser and type http colon localhost 5601 forward slash status and hit enter. If Kibana is running fine, then we will get the status of the Elasticsearch like how much memory it's using, what is the total memory allocated, etc. As we see in the screen, the status of Kibana is green. It also shows the memory like total heap size, use heap size and load. We also get the response time average, response time max. Along with these details, we can see what are the plugins getting used in Kibana. Those are in the ready status. On the right hand side, we can see some messages as well as the help section. Also, there are some additional options available on this status screen. In order to access the home screen of Kibana, you have to just provide localhost 5601 and hit enter. It will redirect to us to app and Kibana. Whenever we start Kibana first time, it will ask us, would you like to try with a sample data or would you like to have your own data? Of course, you can insert your additional data later on, but let's start with our sample data. So it gives us various options like add data. Here we can use a sample e-commerce e orders. We can use the flight data as well as we can use the web log. We'll explore all these over the period of time, but we'll not add right this moment. We'll see what are the options comes with Kibana. We can see the logs, which include active MQ logs, Apache logs, Elasticsearch logs, and there are other types of logs also there. We can see the matrix, like Azure matrix or Couchbase matrix, and there are other matrix also available. We'll explore this CIEM option in detail in our upcoming lecture, so which is also giving a more additional input structure to Kibana. On the left hand side of the screen, we can see there are some dashes. If you click on that, it will take us to a screen which will give us various options. Let's explore these options one by one. Under the management option, we can see the dev tool. When we connect our Kibana to Elasticsearch, in order to access or show the data on your Kibana screen, you can use a dev tool. Dev tool is used by the development people who develop the Elasticsearch component. It will come with a default query, a get search. We are going to explore this development tool in detail but this is a brief overview on the left hand side we see the request and on the right hand side we will get the response 
here we have the help screen also how to use this tool and let's click send request if our elastic search is running then we'll get the response here as we say the elastic search is running it is successful and it gave us the response back so this is about the development tool we have the stack monitoring stack management under the security we have the security management in order to see the logs matrix apm that is application performance management and uptime these options are available we'll see that also in our upcoming lecture under the kabana we have the dashboard canvas maps machine learning and visualization in our upcoming lecture we are going to use this multiple options under the kabana so this is about the kabana we learn about how to download and install kabana and we also learn how to set the environment variable for home kabana and we saw the basic overview of kabana application so in our upcoming lecture we are going to explore more about the elastic search thank you for watching this video and have a great time please do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting updates about these technologies. Thank you.